Hi the internet, I'm Paul Foxcroft, host and dungeon master of Questing Time. This video is for you if you're new to Dungeons and Dragons. Assuming that you know nothing about the game, we're going to answer some of the basic questions right now. Arguably the most basic question is this, Dungeons and Dragons? That's too vague. So let's ask, what is Dungeons and Dragons? And then we'll follow that up with why, how, when, who and where. I mean, not all of those are going to make as much sense as the others. Just, just deal with it. Remember when you were a child? And you used to play it being the Ghostbusters or the Power Rangers or whatever was contemporary when you were a child. I don't know how old you are. Or, or maybe you played games like Cops and Robbers or Cowboys and Racism. Maybe you've just sat at home and imagined what it's like to be Idris Elba. Horny. If you've done any of those things, you've done role-playing. So when I say that Dungeons & Dragons is a role-playing game, you kind of already know what to do. What D&D does differently is it has rules which offer a solid framework for how to play. So you avoid arguments like this one. Aha, I shot you. No, you didn't. I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. Ah, but my gun is a laser. I fires laser beams. Yeah, but I've got a mirror. I've got a mirrored shield like when Achilles fought the Gorgon. I mean, not exactly that argument. Not least of which most children would know that that was Perseus and not Achilles. Now, perhaps a better way to describe Dungeons & Dragons is as a collaborative storytelling game. And that might be a better way because I think it is literally more accurate in that during the game, everyone playing it is working together to create a story in a fantasy setting. Typically, all the players will be working as a team to tell a story and explore the actions of a set of characters as they experience the trials and tribulations of an epic, or not that epic, fantasy adventure. And that's what Dungeons & Dragons is. Which is the end of that segment. So this should edit into something else about... What, do you mean how to play? I, uh, look, there are two broad categories of people who play Dungeons & Dragons games. Players and Dungeon Masters. This is not a helpful way of counting. The players are the characters in the game. Typically, there'll be a group of adventurers roaming the land looking for people to help, quests to go on, or stuff to ruin depending on the kind of playstyle that you're interested in. They don't have to be heroic, they might be a criminal syndicate working together, they might be uh, a bunch of fugitives on the run from the law, they might be a massive corporate enterprise, or in the case of Questing Time, four imbeciles. Each player controls one character, usually one they've made themselves, or perhaps one chosen from a shortlist of characters uh, pre-generated by the DM. They'll usually get to pick their name, special skills, spells and abilities, that sort of thing, and determine what the character says and does in the game. Uh, the Dungeon Master, however, runs the game. So that's a mixture of a few different roles. Part writer, director, actor, referee, but also still is playing the game. It's the Dungeon Master's job to lead the players through a series of adventures, perhaps published or self-penned, and the Dungeon Master will then adjudicate how those players interact with the rules while doing those adventures. Oftentimes this will involve the Dungeon Master describing a scene to the players, and then asking the players what they do in response to that information. So it might look a little bit like this. You emerge from a forest into a field overlooking a small town. It's getting dark. As you step into the field, a scarecrow looms in front of you. Oh no, I stab it! Okay, roll to hit with your longsword. I've rolled a 15! You shriek with fear and plunge your longsword into the scarecrow's torso. Roll for damage! Eight. For a moment, nothing happens. And silence pervades. But then with a creak and a loud crack, the top of the scarecrow snaps off and falls into the high grass. Oh, I thought it was evil. The top of the scarecrow hits the floor and its eyes glow green. Its mouth stitching tears open as its jaw drops and a loud warning scream echoes through the field. Oh, piss. So the dungeon master describes the scene, the players respond by declaring what they want to try and do, and the dungeon master adjudicates how that works, and then the dungeon master will describe the effect. The players respond, the DM adjudicates, describes the results, and the players respond, and so on, and so forth. And that's how to play in very broad terms. There'll be another video about the basic mechanics coming up real soon. This question makes no sense. I mean, whenever. I don't... 
where is D&D? I mean, you can play it kind of wherever. Traditionally, D&D has always been played around a table with friends. But increasingly, thanks to COVID, that's not possible. And increasingly, thanks to technology, that's not necessary. Uh, lots of people are playing games online using software for playing D&D. Uh, at range with friends over the internet. D&D Beyond, Roll20, Fantasy Grounds, and many others. Um, give you a load more options of how to play this remotely. And especially in 2020, that's become way more relevant. Also, a lot of people are watching live play D&D shows or D&D live streams. Things like Questing Time, uh, Critical Role, uh, Acquisitions Incorporated, The High Rollers, uh, and many others. Although, full disclosure, the script does say many otters. Why is D&D? It's fun? I, I don't fully understand that question. Originally, Dungeons & Dragons was the creation of two lads. Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson, who'd played a lot of tabletop war games, and eventually one of them asked the question, oh, what if instead of controlling loads of dudes, we just controlled one character, but in a lot more detail? Uh, and they played around with that. This is a grotesque oversimplification of how that went. But that was then, and this is undeniably now. These days, Dungeons & Dragons is a much wider, more diverse community of people. Uh, so if the, if the question is who is Dungeons & Dragons, then I guess the answer is us? Well, you? Whoever, really. There's fewer barriers now to playing D&D than there ever have been. And so, in conclusion, those are the basic questions about Dungeons & Dragons. I'll be following this up in the next couple of days with a video about how to play, including the basics of die rolling and what dice you need. Um, we'll have a little look at some classes. And maybe we'll have a look at the D&D starter set or essentials kit, both of which are really good introductory Dungeons & Dragons tools. And if there's anything you'd like to see me cover, uh, whack it in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because that's how YouTube feeds. And if you don't, we'll die. We have more episodes of Questing Time coming up on the channel all the time. I think that's everything. We'll find out in the edit, won't we? Okay, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Catchphrase.